Hi, I'm David Johnson with Jacksonville Fire and Rescue. We're a 1200 uniform firefighter department with uh, 58 stations. We cover 843 square miles. We run fire and EMS. We, we pick the enforcer cab for our tractor drawn aerials for the room in the officer seat. Maneuverability of the truck. <clears throat> we used the tractor drawn aerial due to the maneuverability for some of our tight streets. We have gear and EMS compartments in the back of the cab. Run equipment to the rear compartment so that you can access it from either side. You slide out, tilt down trays in a lot of the compartments for ease of access to get to the equipment. Dual air reels. <clears throat> Full slide out slides. <clears throat> Again, for ease of access into the compartments. Like I said, we use the tractor drawn aerial for maneuverability in our tight streets because we can actually fit this where you can't fit an engine. <clears throat> and a full ladder complement in the back of the truck. Steps. We, we have hatch compartments that we put up on the top to utilize some of the space that previously wasn't being used. Crossbody box for Stokes baskets. <clears throat> Pull out trays. <clears throat> Extra air bottle storage. Dual electric reels run off Harrison generator. Yeah. We put the blue LED lighting on. We picked blue so that if you were had the ladder up against a fire, that you could pick out where the ladder was, even in the smoke. Driver's position in the cab, they've lowered the tunnel and repositioned everything in the cab to give you more comfort and room to move around in the cab. They inset the seats and move the seats back so that you have plenty of room. I'm David Johnson from Jacksonville Fire and I thank everybody for watching our video.